Matt, 36 6 here at Featherstone. What are your thoughts on that game? Um, the thoughts on that game was, uh, you know, possibly the scoreline doesn't quite reflect our effort. Um, certainly in the first half, in that first 30 minutes where it was only 6 0 and they had pretty much most of the field position, our effort and our ability to keep turning up uh, was, was fantastic. You know, it was. Uh, it was really, really good, and we just start to get ourselves in into a set for set mentality around that ten minute mark, and start to find some good ball sets, and then we uh, we almost sort of uh, stab ourselves in the in the foot uh, with a, a loose pass, and then they go the length and score off it. So, um, you know, little things like that. I think there's probably four tries of the seven there where we could probably say we, we attribute to, to to those tries. So, you know, when you look at it like that, with with the effort that was put in there. All we need to focus into those those little areas where we've got to be a little bit better individually, and um, and you know we can we can really turn a, a performance in. It's certainly a really exciting first half to watch, and the fans that have been here today will, will have will have enjoyed that. Oh well, the one thing that will uh, enjoy and, and the Cougar fans always love is uh, is, is wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and that effort based mentality. And um, you know, from from minute one to minute eighty, we had that. Um, what we didn't have at times was. Uh, uh, little bits of sort of team management and little areas of individual efforts where we, we kind of let ourselves down a little bit. And when you play against teams that are at the top, like Featherston and, and your Toulousers, they take full advantage of uh, of not being able to play, um, you know, close to, to your best football for the 80 minutes. It certainly wasn't a route that uh, uh, the bookies certainly had us down for. Yeah, well, um, you can take some you can take some good things out of that game. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you've had some money on it, then you can take some money, I guess. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, the, the, the bookies make their decisions based on on whatever they make decisions. And I'm, you know, as a group, we make our decisions based on on what we see. And and our decisions uh, for picking our team today and what we needed to do today was based on what we thought would best fit today's occasion. And I thought we came close to that, um, but tantalisingly not quite. And and then that sort of separated score line. Uh, was off the back of just those little areas that got away from us. There was some desperation there at the end as well to 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 get the zero off the scoreboard. Would you agree? I think getting the zero off the scoreboard, we deserved that. I thought we we in the second half we threw some good shape. Um, you know, we didn't get much good ball shape to be honest in in the first half. I think we only had two sets, uh, but in the second half we got a little bit more and we got an opportunity to ask questions in the area of the field that uh, that we wanted to. And I was actually really happy with how we hit genuine leads and we challenged defenders to defend honest and we came up with a try there towards the back end and that's a little bit of a reward and I think if we understand those genuine leads and challenging defenders to have to defend um, and being consistent with that, that that's going to help us move forward uh, next week and the week after. And uh, give us an injury update from today is there anyone that's that's particularly come, come away with a knock or will uh, we look at that tomorrow? I've not, I've not spoke to um, um, anybody uh, you know the physio or anyone at the moment um, but um, I think that Leanne will let me know in, in a short while. I didn't see anyone that was particularly uh, troubled by any injuries, which, which is actually uh, you know, good on, on our part. That we're all sort of pretty healthy of mind and we're pretty healthy of body. Um, so, but I, I'll find out shortly. I don't think there is anyone injured from today's game. There was just a, an incident with Dan Parker that got put on report. Did, did, did you get a good look at that? Uh, I mean, well, uh, yeah, we, we had a little look at it. I think it was a hip drop that they've, they've Potentially, reported yeah. him for. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, that's up to them to be able to decide what that is. I, I don't think it was, uh, from, the, from the bit I saw, it wasn't a clear uh, uh, hip drop. But uh, again, I've not looked at any vision since, uh, since the game, so I've only seen it live. But um, we'll, uh, we'll front that next week and deal with it. And we're going to Barrow now next weekend. What are your thoughts there? Uh, we got Barrow at home here on uh, on Sunday, so uh, again, um, you know we, we've got to make sure we, uh, we we understand what's helping us in the last few weeks is is our our effort based mentality and and keep turning up to work out at training to to get those little areas better to make our uh, our attack a little bit more um, you know a little bit more fluent and uh, keep making sure that uh, you know, our kicking game and end of sets and transitions are a little bit better. And um, and that'll help us against Barrow next week, who are going to be absolutely humming as well, because uh, you know they're they're uh, from what I've seen, they're an effort-based team that just don't know when to you know lay down, and and will keep coming at us. And what's your message to Cougar fans about the game at home next week? The message to Cougar fans is get down there. You know they make a difference. Um, the the noise that you boys uh, and girls create is uh, is fantastic for the players because it gives them that energy and that lift. 
sometimes you know you need a purpose and that purpose can be heard around the stands um you know that purpose is very very clear when there's noise and, and people behind you so uh, yeah get down in your numbers um and and cheer the boys on because uh, they, they appreciate it i appreciate it and uh, we're in a situation where you know in this together we all need to do our job thanks matt